YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video. You guys have done it again. You have done it again. And you might be asking yourself, what have you done? Well, as I got up this morning, and might I add right now as I'm recording this content, it is 6.36 p.m. I got up this morning at about 4.30 to start my day and uh, I took one of my sons to work after I took my son and my daughter, my youngest son and my youngest daughter to drop them off at daycare. So took them and then took him and then I got myself on to my place of business. So had an early start on the day, but as I'm as I'm reading this this comment that was left by Stephen Adams, I said, yeah, the the viewership has done it again. You've left me some comments that will lead to further content. So we're going to be reviewing this comment. It states TKK, since you've been exploring budget brands, can you honestly say the experience has been as good or close enough to LG, Samsung and Sony? For context, we're talking about me currently reviewing the TCL Q7 and the Hisense UK7, uh, U7K, forgive me. I keep getting those mixed up. He said, I was heavy into plasma TVs and after they died out, I went back to budget TVs. I got my first OLED last year and haven't looked back. He said, I have a C177 inch and my next upgrade will probably be one of the top three brands, which LG is. He said, honestly, I'd rather spend the money and get the best. He said, I know you're a huge NVIDIA fan and I love AMD. He said, AMD gives me experience, the experience I'm looking for um, and uh, want without being the best. He said, it is the same. Is it the same with these budget brand TVs? Asking a question. He said, an experience good enough without having to buy G3, S95C or A95L. Great comment, great comment. And for some, you might not think that it's saying much, but I think it's saying a whole ton of a different type of things, right? So first of all, thank you, sir, for leaving the comments. I, I tell you guys, comments get used around here. I will literally look at comments and I react to all of them. So you'll know I'm reacting because I'm at least going to thumb up and heart what you say. And if you said something asking a question, I'll do my best to answer unless someone else has done it. And I feel like their answer is respectable or something, you know, that aligns with what my thoughts are. Um, and in some cases like this, I'll look at the comments and before I really dive into responding, I'll just say, you know what, I'll just use this and I'll make another video. So here we go. Um, asking me if the two budget brands are as good as the top three brands or the big three, we'll call them that because Panasonic, Pioneer, you know, those are options not in the United States. Um, I can't tell you that I cannot tell you that TCL and that Hisense are the brands that you would go to to compare to a Sony, LG, and Samsung, those three brands just, they are the innovators. They just, they have they have too much, right? There's just too much going on with them. Um, I know that uh, earlier in the year, there was some kind of leaked information that TCL themselves said that they were gonna have a QD OLED. That would have been phenomenal. And maybe that'll be a thing in a couple of years, but clearly they're not in a position right now to invest in that, who knows? That might even change in the 24 season. In any event, because um, I am pretty enthusiastic with the panel technology that is OLED, nothing compares to that, okay? Now, I can't speak intelligently today in high-end premium LED panel technology from those companies because I haven't bought an LED from any company in a very long time. What I can tell you though is that I am thoroughly enjoying the TCL Q7 and the Hisense U7K. Those are, they're, those are U7K, they're great options, great option, very affordable. And I won't say price is not an option or not a, you know, not a concern because price is a concern for me. It's just that I'm pretty strategic in going after the ones that I wanna get, right? Like this year I knew Sony wasn't gonna be coming out with a replacement of the A90K, so I knew I was gonna dodge a bullet. That was $1,400 I wasn't gonna have to invest into getting a TV. Um, but at the same time, that opened me up to be able to get the S90C, and I knew I was getting a 95C, right? So it just it just depends, you know? I, I kind of study and, and I examine what's gonna be coming out for the year, and I just kind of go, go after it from there. But while I'm loving these brands, they are definitely not changing my mind in the space of me wanting more um 
just because there, there, there are just some things about both of these TVs while they are mid-range that I just don't understand. For example, while they're taped so aggressively, and I understand that it's probably, it's probably to secure the panels, but it just seems like in such a cheap way, right? Like, I'm not trying to say that I'm better than that, but I am better than that, you know? And so, yeah, I wouldn't buy one of these TVs as my main driver, but I can tell you that I can understand why a lot of people do, and I can understand why a lot of people enjoy them. As I've said, when I uh, started talking about the U7K with Hisense, it's only when you get to a space that you are familiar with the panel technology that is OLED that you will see that you don't really want to step back. Now, I remember Vizio having an OLED at some point and the, the screen burn was horrible on that TV. So it goes to show you that it's not just panel technology alone. It is truly a combination of craftsmanship, picture processing, quality of life improvements with the operating system and the panel technology. So it's a collective bunch that I don't think that Hisense or TCL would do well in right now but that's just my opinion i believe that when they do jump to it they probably will step into it buying older panel technologies from lg displays i think that would be the safe space to go to now if i see one of these companies come out with a qd oled which i don't think is going to happen um you know i still don't think picture processing is going to you know mesh well against sony and i don't think they'll be able to produce the type of peak brightness with the color pop that samsung has but who knows, guys? Who knows? But I appreciate the comment, man. Like I said, you know, the con comments lead to further content. And uh, that's really what it's all, all about here, man. So, you know, we are going to get this uploaded to you guys on this fine Friday evening. And I hope you all doing good. And uh, I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace. God bless. And as always say, Max Love.